Thursday Surf Water Walkers 2021. Yes, we are looking at the updates to these boards this year. We did review the boards last year and the boards came out pretty well in the review. And a lot of you did buy those boards because they are incredibly solid and well made. But the negatives for last year's boards is they were a bit heavy for their sizes. And that is what Thurzo Surf have sorted out for 2021. These boards are a lot lighter than last year's boards. So if you're looking to get a Thurzo Surf all round water walker type of board to get you into paddle boarding this year, check out this full review and see if these boards are right for you. So last year's boards were exactly the same size of these. We've got a 120, a 126, and a 132 board. What that means is the 120 board is 10 foot long, it's 30 inches wide, it's six inches thick, and its volume is 240 liters. That retails around $799 or euros or 699 pounds. The 126 is a 10 foot six long board that's 31 inches wide, six inches thick still, and the volume is 270 liters. That retails around 824 euros or dollars or 724 pounds. And then you've got the biggest board in the water walker range. You've got the 132 and that is 11 foot long, 32 inches wide, six inches thick and 300 liters. That retails $849 or euros or 749 pounds. But if we move straight onto the weights of the boards, if we compare last year's boards to this year's boards, you will see there is a big reduction on weight. Some boards are weighing almost two kilograms lighter. Now that does make a big difference when you are carrying your board. Maybe you're putting it in your backpack or you're carrying it with the handle a long distance. That makes a massive difference to the comfort and to the amount of energy you're gonna have when you get to your paddling location. As I said, it was the biggest negative we had in last year's boards. They were super solid, tough boards, but they were a little bit heavy and they have addressed that issue and making their boards much, much lighter this year. One of the reasons they boards are so much lighter is because of the construction that they've put onto these boards now. They are using the new construction method that a lot of other top well-known brands are using as well, which is woven technology. And that is basically where the drop stitch fabric goes to the top and bottom of the board. Instead of it being a more of a matted fabric at the top and bottom, it's a woven fabric. Therefore, it absorbs less resin, it absorbs less glues, the weight can keep down, and the stiffness goes up on the board as well. So these boards have got the new woven technology. They have still got their multiple layers of PVC on the top, multiple layers on the bottom, multiple layers on the rails, and they've got their carbon enhanced rail band down the side of the board, which is exactly the same as last year's board. So remember we were saying last year how tough these boards are, super strong, well made, these boards are exactly the same. Looking at the deflection test, this is a really interesting thing as well. Boards last year were pretty stiff. They have recommended PSI of 12 to 15 PSI, but you can get some more PSI if you wanted to in these boards. When we tested last year's board at 15 PSI, it dropped 12 millimeters, which is up there with some of the stiffest boards on the market. This year, we've tested these boards again, and they've gone even stiffer. They've gone down to 11 millimeters in our deflection test. Remember our deflection test is where we put these boards on a gap of 1.5 meters apart, then we put a weight of 75 kilograms in the center of the board. And then we measure how much the board bends or deflects. And that gives you a really good idea of how stiff your board is gonna feel on the water. Obviously, if you've got a really bendy board, it's not gonna be very efficient. It's actually gonna be harder to use because you're gonna feel more of the wobbles that are coming across the water. So having a stiffer board is gonna give you a much better paddling experience. Moving on to the other stuff, you get a standard with your package. You get a bag, a carbon nylon blade, you get your fins, and you get a color-coded leash as well. Looking at the bag, this is another great improvement from last year. The bag is very much the same bag as last year. You've still got your really nicely padded shoulder straps. You've still got a good padded back area. You've still got a waist buckle. You've still got the wheels. 
but the big advantage compared to last year is the bags are a little bit bigger size to fit the bigger boards in much easier. We did say one of our complaints as well was the bigger board didn't go in the bag very well. By the time you put your pump and your paddle in, it was a bit tight. So they have increased the size of the bags this year, making it much easier to get the bigger boards in as well, which is another great thing to see. There is more subtle refinements throughout the range this year, just like the badges on the bags themselves. Every board has its own bag with a badge name of the board on the bag as well. Just a little difference. Doesn't make a massive difference to you or me and our paddling experience, but it just shows a little bit more quality from the Thurzo Surf brand. The paddle you get this year is the same paddle as last year. It comes with a full carbon shaft and a nylon blade. What are the advantages and disadvantages to that? Well, there's lots of advantages to having a setup of paddle like that. For a start, the shaft, if you can get a carbon or a glass fiber shaft of a paddle, you're gonna have a much lighter paddle to use. It's gonna be easier to pull out of the water through the air to restart your paddle stroke. But also when you're paddling along, it's gonna be much more efficient. If you have an aluminium shaft or a glass fiber shaft, which isn't so stiff as carbon, it's gonna flex a lot more, which means you're gonna waste a lot more energy when you go to paddling and pulling yourself through the water. And really the big thing is you'll notice the weight. The weight is this paddle is a really lightweight paddle because of that carbon shaft. The handle is still the same with the hole through the middle, quite a funky plastic handle, super hard wearing. It's gonna be a lot easy for lots of hands, different size hands to get hold of that. And the blade itself, as I said, a nylon blade. The good thing about having this combination with the carbon shaft is basically it's gonna be really hard wearing and you haven't really got to worry about what you do with a nylon blade. If you have a carbon blade, you've got to be a little bit more careful with who you lend it out to and hitting rocks and dragging it up the beach and such. Not super refined, but it's absolutely fine for getting you in the water, more than fine really for getting you on the water for the first time. I say many other board packages that come with much lower quality paddles compared to this. So this is nice to see. And some more slight refinements that Thurzo have got compared to other paddles that we've seen is there's a small arrow marking on the top of this section here. So when you slide your very top section in, you can line it up with the line, lock it back, and then it is fixed nice and straight. And you know the paddle is straight right down the shaft. You will need to tighten up this nut here when you first start paddling because this may need be to be a bit loose. So you can roll it over, lock it back but it does tighten up and it presents itself pretty tight on the shaft. The pump also is basically the same pump as you got last year. You've got a three way pump. So you've got three different settings on the back here. So you can set it to so get a high capacity of air in your board quickly. And then as the pumping gets hard, you can turn the nozzles over at the back and you can reduce the fatigue in your arms, basically making it easier the higher pressure you get up into these boards. These pumps are fairly big, so you are gonna get a lot of air in your board quite quickly compared to the other single chamber pumps on the market. And we actually do like the folding bases and you can take handles off, you can inflate and deflate with this pump. So you've got a lot of choice and a lot of stuff you can do with this pump as well. But if you are maybe start touring or you're trying to paddle a little bit long distances, do some overnight camping, maybe this pump will be a little bit big for you. But for most of you who are buying these boards, they're probably gonna be absolutely spot on and they're gonna be nice and easy to get that high pressure into the board. Another really simple thing that makes a difference, I think, when you're buying into a package is the leashes. For a start, they all come with leashes, which is a really important thing that all board packages do come with leashes. So all the boards with the represented colors come with the right color leashes. It's a small touch, but it does make an overall difference to the look of the board. The leashes themselves, they're coiled leashes. They're perfect for when you're doing your flat water paddling, which means most of the leash can stay on the board and it doesn't slow you down, doesn't get dragged in seaweed. If you were going out light surfing, some small waves, you might want to change it for a straight leash but as I said, these boards are all round paddle boards and this leash is absolutely perfect for the job. And the last thing you're gonna do before you get in the water is you're gonna install your fins. Now these are the same click in fin system that they had last year. A few other brands have got this fin system as well. We're a real big fan of this fin system because the fin you get is a good quality stiff fin. You have the option of running your two side fins and your central bigger fin as well. Just remember if you put all three fins in, you're gonna have more tracking. It's gonna make you go in a straighter line, but it is gonna slow you down a little bit. So if you are getting better and more efficient at your paddling, you could possibly take out your smaller side fins and you could just run it with your bigger center fin when you get a little bit more experience. But for most people, you're gonna run it with your three fins most of the time. Just remember if you've got 
any board with these types of fins and a little bit tight to get in or push the lever down at the back just a small bit of sandpaper on that back edge of the fin will make the lock clip system go in much much easier you will find that on some fins that come out of the mold they have a small bump on the back but these fins that all came with the Thurzo boards every single one went in really really easy and clipped back nice and smoothly so let's talk a bit more about the boards themselves the fittings the features and who they'll be best suited for now all three of these boards are fitted out in exactly the same way they have the same amount of bungees the same amount of gopro mounts same amount of handles and all of those are put on in really good places and they're using the full size of the board what i mean by that is the front bungees here that you see on lots of other brands they have much smaller bungees and also they won't go right out to the edge of the board these bungees are put on in a really nice way you can get a large amount of weight you could get a big dry bag on here if you wanted to because you could take these for a mini overnight tour yes you wouldn't want to paddle really long distances with a board of this length but you could take a large amount of dry kit or bags if you wanted to if you weren't going to paddle that far just around the corner to get out there and experience that touring side of our paddleboarding sport which is a fantastic thing to get into if you do it safely and do it in water so you really know it's a really fun thing to do in the summer again also at the back you've got a small bungee system but they've made it as big as possible by stretching the d-rings out nice and far to the side so you can get as big a dry bag in there as possible the handles are at the front and at the back which is great for transporting your board to and from the water especially if you've got anything on top of your board you've got a slip in gopro mount and a ram mount up at the nose of the board moving back down the board you've still got more d-rings in here if you want to go ahead and buy a seat as extra if you want to sit down and convert it into more of a suck kayak again they've got options of getting kite blades on their website as well on the side of the board here you've got your paddle attachment so if you're doing a bit of yoga or you're walking long distances or you want to basically just get rid of your paddle so you're not holding it in your hands you can clip it around here and it stays safely onto the side of the board the deck pad is the same style deck pad that we really liked last year with all the mini tees sort of pushed and embossed into the deck pad really like the colorways how it's all finished off and again it's it, when you see this deck pad it looks like a really smart looking deck pad and it's the type of deck pad we would see on a much more expensive board so it's really well finished off the way that the logos are all cut in with the water walker range number in there and where it goes right towards the back of the board there is no kicker on these boards what i mean by that is an eva raised pad which we do actually really like when you go to do your step back turns and go to do your boy turns you can reference where your back foot is that raised pad will help you do your step back turns a little bit more efficiently there are negatives to it bear in mind rolling the board up it's a little bit harder to roll up and if you're not going into step back turns or moving around the board so much you don't really need it so Thurzo Surf have opted not to put a raised kicker on their boards the inflation valve is at the back of the board so it's nice and easy to roll up from the nose and then you've got your leashing point at the back as well there and all the boards have different colorways but I've finished off with the same classic Thurzo Surf sort of fake wood effect PVC on the top here and I have to say when I first saw this years and years ago I wasn't really sure about the fake wood effect but having seen it last year and this year I do think it is a really good looking funky looking colorway on all of their boards and again just the stuff that they do when they throw in the, the color coordinated leashes the bungees are all color coordinated the deck pads all look good it does really finish off the board really well looking at the outline shapes of these boards well these boards are exactly the same as last year's 2020 boards they are all round shaped paddle boards designed for all types of paddling if we're looking at the sort of weight a rider that could be using them well obviously the narrow base board the 120 at 10 foot long and 30 inches wide is not going to be as stable as the bigger 132 at 32 inches wide the wider you go the more stability you're going to have with a board and therefore the heavier weight of person you're going to be able to get on it but at the same time if you're a lighter person you don't necessarily want that extra width because it won't be that fast to paddle and you will have to reach out further when you put your paddle stroke in and if you've got smaller shoulders if you're a smaller person that's going to be a little bit harder to do the middle board in the range is 31 inches wide it's going to be great for maybe up to about 90 kilograms and it's got a good amount of thickness and stiffness there to put a lot of weight on the board as well if you want to put your dry bags on top of that 
the bigger board, the 132, take again, I would say similar to what we said last year, up to 115, 120 kilograms in weight. If you are heavier than that, you possibly want to look at a slightly wider base board to give you a little bit more stability. But again, even if you're 115, 110 kilograms, you're still going to be able to get 15, 10 kilos extra weight on top of it talking about dry bags at the front and back for sure. The smaller board is narrower, like I just said. It's gonna take up to about 80 kilogram weight person quite comfortably. It's still a very stiff board, so it could probably take more weight than that. But if you weigh more than 80 kilograms, you're probably gonna be wanting something that's a little bit wider. So before we finish off with pros and cons and value for money, let's talk a little bit about the warranty and the environmental credentials of Thurzo Surf. The warranty, you get a 30 day money back guarantee and you get a two year warranty on any manufacturing or material defects, which is great. It's a little bit longer than most standard packages. Most boards come with a standard one year warranty. Looking at the environmentalness, obviously when we unpack these boards, there's still a huge amount of plastic wrapped in these boards and it's gonna be one of the major cons for these boards themselves. We've got to get rid of that plastic that comes with the packaging. For a start, these are completely plastic boards, so the much packaging and plastic we can get out of that, the better. Looking at how long I think these boards will last, because that's an also important thing to talk about when you're talking about the environment. If we could get 20 years plus out of these boards, it would be much better than buying a paddle board that you could only get four years out of. Definitely when we're looking at the stiffness of the board, the way it's made, the feedback we've heard already from you guys on the market and the boards we've tested and still got with us this year, these boards are still very, very tough. And I think they should be lasting in excess of 10 years plus, which is definitely the sort of thing we want to be looking at for most brands. Very solid construction. And I do like the carbon enhanced rail on the side there. And that is going to stop a lot of abrasion for years and years of use on these boards. So third row surf, still get your packaging better, but the construction and the endurability of these boards, I think is outshining your packaging at the moment. So pros and cons and value for money. Well, pros, these are still funky, cool looking boards. I really like how solid and robust they feel and they are very stiff in our deflection test and they are lighter than last year's boards. A really big plus. The overall package is good. You get a nice bag that again is bigger this year. The paddle and the pump and the leash are all really adequate to get you paddling for at least a few years before you even want to upgrade your paddle. The negatives, well, the handle is actually comfortable when you first pick it up, but after walking with it a little distance, maybe you're walking five, 10 minutes from the car, it can dig in on the webbing side of the strap into your hands. It's not as comfortable as some other branded handles on the market. As I say, they are comfortable when you first pick them up because they're nicely padded in neoprene on the back, but the webbing strap itself does dig into your fingers, or maybe I've got light, delicate little fingers, but that is definitely something that I think could be improved in the future. Another negative or thing to be aware of, if you're a lighter paddler, I think Thurzo could make the 120 board, the 10 foot by 30 board in a smaller thickness. So they could drop it down to five inches. It's a very, very stiff board. And if you're sub 80 kilograms, you do not need that extra stiffness, but by lowering your center of gravity and getting you lower on the water, like you would be if you were paddling a thinner base board, it would give you a better paddling experience. So dropping the thickness of the 120 to a five inch thick board next year would give more lighterweight paddlers a better paddling experience. And definitely reducing the plastic in that packaging is something we have to see for Thurzo. You've got to get rid of that plastic next year. So let's talk value for money. Well, these boards are sitting at the right price point in the market. They are exactly where they should be. They are a direct sell brand. So the price has come down because of that. If you found these available in the shops, they would be more money. The downside to a direct sell is it's harder to demo or try them, but there is a big community of paddlers out there that have already got them and are very, very happy with them. But definitely looking at the construction and the toughness and thinking about the durability with these boards, I do think these boards are gonna last a long, long time. So if you're looking at a product to get you on the water and last many, many years and get lots of enjoyment out of, then I think the Thurzo Surf Water Walker range is a very good valued price point package. So I hope you found that review interesting and informative. We've really enjoyed getting ourselves on the 2021 Water Walker range. It's so nice to see good improvements from last year. The negatives we came up with last year, they have fixed and improved and put them into this new 2021 range. That's all we can really ask for regarding our reviews. We give you pros and cons, and we hope that brands pick up on the cons and they put the improvements in their following year. And that 
It's what we see with 2021 Thurzo Surf Water Walker range. Remember, if you've got a Thurzo Surf or a Water Walker in particular, please let us know what you think of it. Let us know what you've done with it. And also if there's any pros and cons you found with the boards themselves. It's always great to hear your feedback, especially if you've used these boards a lot, because that's how we get to understand the durability side of any ISUP brand out in the market at the moment. Please, if you like this video, you found it useful, give it a like or comment below. If you found this video complete rubbish, also give it a dislike, but please, put a comment below how we can improve it in the future. Thank you very much and we'll see you on another video real soon.